Hello and welcome to audio feedback in PsychoPy 3. Uh, I'm going to start by talking you through this uh, Stroop experiment and all the components and then we'll get into the audio feedback. So in the build view you can see we have a single routine and a loop of trials that goes around it and the trials is set by an Excel file named Stroop conditions and we'll come back to that in a moment. On the screen we'll see a fixation from 0 seconds to 1 second followed by a word on screen up from 1 second until 3 seconds and the keyboard response can only be given between 1 and 3 seconds. If we click on the fixation we can see that it's in the center of the screen and we should see a cross in the center of the screen and it will be white. The Stroop word, click on here, will also be in the center of the screen, but the color is set by a variable called colors, which is in our Stroop experiment uh, conditions file. And this is set every repeat. And the word that will be displayed uh, is also set by a variable in our conditions file, which is also set to be every repeat. And then the trial underscore resp, the keyboard component, if we click on this, we can see that the allowed keys are left, right, up and down, and we will be storing the correct answer, which is set by the correct variable, also in our conditions file. So before we continue, let's have a quick look at the conditions file. Okay, let's have a look at the conditions file. So in this particular case, I have a folder on the desktop called Stroop folder. And in that folder, we have the Stroop experiment itself, the Excel file, Stroop conditions, and later on, we'll see these audio files be put into use. So if we just open this Stroop conditions file, we can see the top three are the headers that we've seen previously in the Stroop experiment. And in the word column, we have four instances of the word red, four instances of the word blue, four of green, and four of yellow. In the colors column, we have red, blue, green, and yellow, and they rotate every four. That's giving each word a congruent trial where the word matches the color and the other three trials not matching the word. In the correct column, we can see this is set by the color that the word is written in. So whenever the color is red, the correct answer is left. You can see that here, here, and here. And then whenever the color is blue, the correct answer is right. Whenever the color is green, the correct answer is up. And whenever the color is yellow, the correct answer is down. And then if we just open up PsychoPy side by side with Excel, in the keyboard component, we can see that the correct answer is set by dollar correct, which will look at this column in Excel because the header is called correct. And we have all of the allowed keys the same as they are in the correct column. We can see that Stroop word, the color is set by the variable dollar sign colors, which means that it will look at this column with the same name colors, colors, and then the same with word. Dollar sign word will look at the column word. So now we have all of those bits sorted. Let's get started with some audio feedback. Okay, we are now at the stage of adding in the audio feedback. So what we need to do first is insert a new routine. I'm going to call this routine feedback and click OK. And then we want the feedback to be in this loop so that each time there's a trial, you get some feedback and it'll just loop around and keep doing the same again and again and again for each trial. Within the feedback routine, we need to add in a custom bit of code. Call this feedback code. 
Uh, you don't need to call it feedback code, that's just what I'm calling it. And then at the beginning of the experiment, if we create a variable called sound file that has correct ding dot wav and incorrect ding dot wav. So the variable sound file is a list now and in the zero position of that list we have correct ding dot wav and in the one position we have incorrect ding dot wav. So in our strip folder we can see both of these are here and if we just check on the properties of them see they are WAV files and if we just quickly open them up we can see that this one is the correct ding is three seconds long and incorrect ding is less than a second so we need to remember that when we're putting in the uh, sound component and for the moment we just say in beginning of the routine if trial underscore resp dot core, so this is saying if the keyboard component called trial underscore resp is correct or receives the correct response, then we want a new variable which we're going to call play sound equals sound file in the zero position. Else or otherwise play sound equals sound file in the one position. So zero position be correct ding, one position incorrect ding. If trial underscore resp is correct, then a variable called play sound will play the correct ding. And if you're wondering where I've got trial underscore resp from, in the trial routine, you can see here that tr the keyboard component is called trial underscore resp. So if we were to change this name here, trial underscore resp, we would then also need to change uh, this bit of code here. But now we've got the code in, we can add in our audio component. And where the correct ding was three seconds long, we're going to change that to be three seconds. There are other ways to do this. This is just the quick way to make sure you can get some audio feedback. And the sound will be set by dollar sign play sound. And that's going to be set every repeat. So this means that each time the trial loops around, they'll look at our feedback code. And if the keyboard response in trial was correct, play sound, the variable play sound, will play the correct ding, otherwise or else it will play the incorrect ding. Just click on OK, save our experiment and then if we click on run and we'll see if that does the job. Correct. Correct. Okay, let's get some incorrect now. Excellent. So we can see here that our components are being correctly organized as correct or incorrect, and then the corresponding sound is also being played. Thanks for watching.